So example six is an application problem. We have a company that builds a storage shed of dimensions 10 by 12 by 14 feet. Company B advertises that its sheds are better because they are X feet longer, wider, and taller, and can store three times the volume. So we want to know what is the value of X and what are the dimensions of the shed that company B sells. So let's break down the information we were given. So company A build sheds that have volume and we can find that by doing the length times the width times the height. So if we multiply these three numbers together it's 680 cubic feet. Company B boasts that their sheds are three times as big in volume as company A. So that means that their sheds have to be 5,040 cubic feet. The dimensions for company B, well, they claim that they take the shed and they add X to the base, the same distance X to the width, and the same distance X to the height. So this is a polynomial function. It's actually going to be a cubic. So if we set this equal to 5,040 feet, we can figure out what the x value is that they added to the sheds. So if we go back to the calculator, we go to y1. I'm going to enter this function in, so 10 plus x times 12 plus x times 14 plus x. And then I'm going to do a second function that's 5,040. So here's where they intersect. So if we go to second calc intersection, it grabs the first curve, the second curve, takes a guess, and x is 5.22 feet. So this is the first thing they asked for. What is this value of x that they advertise that they're bigger than company A? And then it says, well, what are the dimensions of the new shed? So the dimensions, I come in by just plugging X into each one of these pieces. So it's 15.22 feet by 17.22 feet by 19.22 feet. And so these are the dimensions of the shed sold by company B.